Joining me now is Harvey Levin, executive producer and founder of TMZ. And we should mention that TMZ, of course, is owned by the parent company of this network. Uh, Harvey, good to see you, as always. Uh, first of all, I don't want to take away from your scoops. Obviously, this was a very important one. Uh, and we're not here to have a debate on the ethics of paying for content. But TMZ does pay for content as a, as a policy. Why do you think the tape only came out now, a week after the casino closed? Well, I will say, so does CNN pay for content. Every news operation in America pays for content when we're talking about video. Because A, there's nothing wrong with it, and B, you guys do it too. If you guys get a fire that some stringer shot, you guys buy it. I mean, I know that, you know that, and you know everybody else buys it too. So that said, in terms of why it came out, um, I think what happened was the casino closed and when the casino closed, I think there were a lot of employees who just said, you know what, we want to do the right thing. And ultimately, we ended up getting this video because when you look at the video, clearly you see the NFL did not do the right thing. And I think at a point, somebody said that the gain here is worse than the risk in terms of doing what's right. Why was there such a lag between the revelation of that initial video of Ray Rice dragging Janae Palmer out of an elevator in February and this video, is it because the casino closed and finally the people who had it felt like they could give it to you or sell it to you? I, I, I really don't know. I mean, I don't know why we were able to get one first and then the second. I, I, I can't answer that question. I just know that we got it when we got it. I think the real issue is why the heck didn't the NFL commissioner seek to get it? He is a very aggressive guy. And anybody who knows anything about him knows that when he conducts an investigation, he literally micromanages it. He will make phone calls. He will do all sorts of things to make sure punishment is meted out and an investigation is aggressive. He has done this consistently in the past. In this case, he sat back and what we're told is they said to the police, yeah, give us anything you got and just waited. If they happened to give him the video, great. And if they didn't, great. They knew the video existed at the casino. They never went to the casino. We know this. They never went to the casino and said, let us see it. And the casino, we're told, would have shown it to them. They didn't go to Ray Rice's lawyer. We're told that Rice's lawyer also had a copy because of the criminal case. And look, Goodell had a lot of leverage over Rice at that point. So they probably could have even gotten it from the lawyer. But for whatever reason, and this is what really smells about it, it feels like Goodell didn't want to get this video because he's too aggressive a guy and too thorough a guy in a case like this not to simply ask. The Baltimore Sun newspaper tried and failed to get these tapes through the Freedom of Information Act. Because TMZ pays for footage like this, and again, I don't want to get into a whole thing about it, you're able to acquire and get things that other news organizations that won't pay cannot. How do you think TMZ has changed the game? Do you, do you view this through a lens of accountability? You're holding people accountable in a way that they wouldn't be through the old way of doing things. I think you're really misdirected, Jake, when you say that news organizations don't pay. <laughs> you know every single news organization pays for outside video. When you use a picture that you get from an agency called Splash, which CNN has done all the time, you guys pay. Good Morning America, where you used to work, they pay. Everybody in, in, the, in the media pays for video. All right. They've always done it, and it's always it's okay because the uh, video is the video is the video. Harvey, thank you so much. Great to see you as always. Congrats on the scoops.